Hey everyone, Theo here. Today I'm reviewing Lunar Display, this little gadget here that will allow you to use your iPad as an external display for your Mac and Windows computer. This small thing here is made by the company AstroPad and it's priced at 129 US dollars. The connectors available are USB-C, mini display and HDMI. Let me start by saying that if you already have an iPad and a Mac, a laptop or a desktop, you can already use your iPad as an external display by using this feature called Sidecar that you can find within macOS system preferences. So if you already have an iPad and a Mac, then there is no need to consider this because Sidecar performance is actually better than this. However, if you are using a Windows computer, either a laptop or a desktop, then Luna Display is actually very useful. So this is a Windows laptop. This does not work with an adapter. So for example, if I want to use a USB-C to HDMI adapter together with this to connect to my HDMI port, it's not going to work. So you have to get the right connector for this. Oh, before you buy this, make sure to check out the system requirements on the company's website because not all iPads can be used as external displays. So, before you can use your iPad as an external display with your Windows computer, you need to install the Lunar Display app on both the iPad and on Windows. I have already installed the apps. I've already launched the app on the iPad. So now let me just launch the app on Windows. The setup process is actually very straightforward. Basically, these two will connect to the same Wi-Fi network. And this is how long, how much time it takes to connect to the iPad. So now these two are connected. If you have previously connected your iPad to your computer, it would remember the layout. So now I can move this window here to the iPad and you will be able to see the display, the external display coming up as an option within Windows settings. It's quite responsive. However, you can see some um, visual uh, effects as I move the windows around. The settings for Lunar Display is very limited, so you can choose to have your iPad on the left of your computer or on the right side, and if you click this, it will go into the Windows settings where you can change all the other display settings. And you can choose the resolution for the iPad. Here I'm actually using the non-retina resolution. With non-retina resolution, you can see slight pixelation with the icons and with the text. And also, when there is any sort of animation, you will see this visual artifact that appears before the actual display or the visuals will become sharp. And this is retina resolution, the native resolution of this iPad Pro. So the icons and the fonts are sharper now. If you want faster response, just choose lower resolution. And this is currently still in retina resolution and it's quite responsive. So if you want better visuals, then go with retina resolution, the higher resolution. Depending on the resolution you choose, sometimes the user interface elements for certain apps may not scale properly. So for example, with this app, Medibank Paint Pro, the UI elements like the icons, the text, they are just way too small. So now you can use your Windows software on your iPad if you want to. You can use Apple Pencil as well for drawing apps, pressure and tilt, are supported. However, there is more input lag, there is more latency, so the overall drawing experience is actually not that great compared to just drawing on the iPad without lunar display. So I've just changed the resolution to non-retina, basically low resolution, and here you can see the user interface elements are now sized much bigger at the correct size. You can also use finger gestures if the software you are using 
uh, supports finger gesture shortcuts and here you can see some visual artifact so when it comes to drawing with um, lower resolution the response is slightly better the input lag or the latency is slightly better but there is still noticeable latency and input lag so this is a very useful product for windows users with ipads it works as advertised lunar display works with windows 10 and windows 11 is already out I did not test Lunar Display with Windows 11, so I cannot say how well it will work with Windows 11. But even if it doesn't work, it's probably just one driver update away. And Lunar Display can also let you use your Mac as an external display. So you can use your laptop or your iMac as an external display to another Mac. But uh, only if you are running Mac OS 10.11. Or newer. If the company can improve the latency or response time for this product, I may actually buy this again. This, by the way, is not a review unit. I paid 129 US dollars for this, and I am quite satisfied with this product.